Let's look at a few scenarios and places where we can leverage some of the latest 3D capabilities of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. A real estate company wants to promote the location of a new office building in downtown Denver, Colorado. 2D maps like this one are a great way to understand what's in the immediate vicinity, such as parks, public points of interest, or as in this case, a traffic-free pedestrian zone going straight through Denver. However, unless you're familiar with the area, you don't really see what the city around the office looks like. A schematic 3D version of the previous map helps. Using the same GIS data and vector-based map, adding 3D buildings provides context for the height and architecture of the downtown area. Using the 3D capabilities of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, we can add additional 2D layers to our scene, combined with the 3D buildings to provide more context, like restaurant locations in close distance to the office. Again, this visualization provides a nice overview Yet, you're probably still wondering what the Denver downtown really looks like. This is where reality capture technology comes in, replacing the base map with a, with a satellite imagery and the buildings with an integrated mesh layer. We can now zoom in to see a realistic representation of downtown Denver with all its parks, shops, and cafes surrounded by historic buildings, shown in amazing detail. This layer was created by our friends at Aerometrics using thousands of aerial images. Flying along the pedestrian zone gives you a much better idea of what the area around the office has to offer. Integrated mesh layers not only represent reality with great detail, they're also very useful as a foundation of GIS mapping by combining it with other data layers. We can drape the same polygons, lines, and points we used in the previous maps to provide contextual information. We can also add other layer types, such as the output from a walk time analysis to see the number of restaurants that are within five minutes from the new office. Let's look at another important capability of integrated mesh layers. As already mentioned, the promoted office building is new and still being constructed. The integrated mesh therefore still shows an old parking complex at the site's location. With the help of a new client-side capability called Integrated Mesh Modification, we can replace parts of the mesh. I'm going to use the sketch tools to define the modification area using street center lines as guidance. Out-of-the-box snapping available in 2D and 3D helps me to sketch the area to be flattened. You can snap to any point, line, and polygon feature in your scene, but also right angles and parallel lines. Once the integrated mesh modifications have been applied, we can add a 3D object scene layer containing our new office building. Bringing all these data sets together in one scene, you can now provide the most realistic and interactive overview of what your next office development project will look like. 3D scenes are well suited to visualize cities and buildings, but they're also a powerful tool to explore and analyze natural landscapes and mountain areas. For example, in this scene of the Swiss Alps, you can see a hike I did last summer with friends. We went up with a cable car and then started hiking to a popular lake. Notice the elevation changes, the shape of the inner valleys, and even the water of the lake reflecting back the mountain. It's beautiful up there. When displaying a hike, you usually want to get more information about it like the length, the difference in altitude, or how steep it is. Starting with version 4.18, the ArcGIS API for JavaScript provides an elevation profile widget that allows you to create charts for selected or sketched lines. Our route, for example, was 4.5 miles long and gains over 3,000 feet of altitude throughout the hike. The chart and the measurements are all calculated client-side, which enables fast interactive exploration. When we were hiking up there, we went along a dam and we knew that the lakes are used to produce electricity. But because the whole system is underground, we couldn't quite understand the complexity of it. The power in such 3D visualizations is that besides rendering the realistic landscape, we can also view additional information that is not visible to us in reality. 
For example, below our hiking trail, there is a complex system of water pipes, here represented in blue, and transportation tunnels in yellow, all part of an underground hydroelectric power plant. In 3D, we can visualize such data, but also navigate underground to explore it. Thanks to new context-aware navigation, you can intuitively zoom and pan around your underground features without getting lost. The water flows from the top lake to the bottom lake, where it goes through turbines to generate the electricity. Let's use the elevation profile again, but now to measure the underground water lines. Configuring the widget with two profiles allows me to see the water pipe in the chart, but also the profile line corresponding to its projection on the ground. This way, we can not only see the slope and the elevation change of the water pipe, but also its relation to the terrain surface. OK, let's switch gears now and talk about a new 3D JavaScript capability, which is literally out of this world. With the latest release of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, we introduced support for two extraterrestrial coordinate systems. Now you can create and visualize 3D scenes of Mars. Try it out yourself with this new demo app that we made available at exploremars.esri.com. It features detailed imagery and elevation data for the entire planet. Zoom in to various points of interest, such as rover landing sites or interesting geological areas. Looking at this terrain, you're probably wondering what the scale of Mars is. You can explore it using out-of-the-box interactive tools, such as the direct line measurement. But how much are 60 miles really? To better understand distances and sizes on Mars, we added the possibility to place regions and 3D models from Earth. For example, the Grand Canyon. Thanks to the visualization capabilities of the 3D ArcGIS API for JavaScript, you can now appreciate the spectacular Mars terrain directly in your browser.